Hi everyone. Welcome to this getting started tutorial about the Blazor list box of Synfusion. In general, the list box component is more similar to the drop down list component. But what makes a major difference between them is with list box, you can view and select multiple items simultaneously from a list. Over the next few minutes, we will see about how to work with the Blazor list box of Synfusion. Also, to this list box, you can do multiple item selection, grouping, as well as can drag and drop the items between one or more list boxes. First, I will start with the Blazor application creation process. For that, I need to make sure whether .NET Core SDK 3.1.2 or later versions are installed in my machine and I should have Visual Studio Code or Visual Studio 2019 to create a Blazor application. Now, I am going to create a new server-side Blazor app. So, let me open the Visual Studio 2019 first and create a new project from the dashboard. From the list of project templates, I will choose Blazor app and click next to proceed further with the project creation. Here, I will name my project as Blazor example and click the create button. Next, I will choose this Blazor server app option and click this create button finally to complete the project creation. Now, the project has been created and ready to use. If you want to know more about the Blazor server app and how to add Synfusion components to it, then you can listen to the video link that is shown in the above YouTube card. Now, I will tell you the steps to add the Blazor list box. To start using the Synfusion Blazor list box, First, I need to install the Synfusion Blazor NuGet package into my application. For that, I will open the NuGet package manager by right clicking the project and choose the option Manage NuGet packages. Here, I have enabled this include pre-release checkbox as I am going to use the beta version of Synfusion Blazor package. Then, I will search for Synfusion Blazor in the browse tab and install it into my project. Once the installation gets completed, let me navigate to imports.racer file and here I will add Synfusion Blazor dropdowns namespace to start using the Blazor list box in any of the components available under the pages folder. Next, I will open the startup.cs file and here I will add the Synfusion Blazor namespace. Then, I will register the Synfusion Blazor service by calling a method add Synfusion Blazor within the configure services method. Also, I should register the valid license key of the Essential Studio into my application. So, let me register the trial license key using the register license method. The next important thing is, I need to define the CSS for this box. Therefore, let me navigate to host.cshtml file under the pages folder to refer the CSS file from the installed Synfusion Blazor package. Now, everything is configured, so let me proceed to add the Blazor list box. For that, I need to open the index.racer component and here I will include list box component by replacing the default code. Now, I will start to populate the data for the list box. For that, first I need to create a code block. Here, I have planned to display a sports name in the list box. So, let me define a model class games data with two fields namely name and id. Then, I need to create a list games of type games data and assign an array of objects to it. To this list box, I need to specify the data source type, so let me define a property t item and set its value as games data. Also, I need to specify the list box value field type, so let me define the property t value and set its value as string array. Here, I have defined t value as string array as the list box value field accepts more than one value. Next. I will assign this object games to the data source property of the list box. 
For this data source, the appropriate data source field should be mapped to the fields property of the list box component. Therefore, I need to define list box field settings tag and map the data source fields name to text property and id to value property. Also, I have set a few CSS style properties here to better align the div container which holds the list box component. Now, I will run this example. When you look at the blazer list box, you can see the sports name listed here. Also, you can select multiple items from the list. Suppose, if I want to bind remote data source to blazer list box, then I can bind it using the data manager component of Synfusion, which act as a gateway between the list box and data source and uses queries to interact with both the local and remote data source. So, as a first step, I will navigate to imports.racer file and import the namespace Synfusion Blazor data to use the data manager component here. Then, inside the list box code, I need to add the data manager component and define the properties URL, adapter and cross domain. In the URL, I will be using the already available remote URL service which will retrieve the list of data through post action and bind the resultant data to the list box. Also, I have set web API adapter here as the URL is assigned with the existing web API service and cross domain option is set to true to allow the cross origin domain request. Since I have defined data manager component, therefore I will remove the data source property from the list box code. Here this remote URL contains four fields namely employee ID, first name, designation and country. Now to access this remote URL fields, I need to create a model class employee data with the fields employee ID, first name, designation and country. Then I also need to map the remote data source fields. So let me map first name to text property and employee ID to value property. Also I need to replace the T item value as employee data as I'm going to bind this employee data model class to the list box. So now you can see the list box which shows employee names over here. Okay, let me summarize some of the important points now. We have seen how to add Blazor list box of Synfusion to the Blazor application. Also, we have seen how to populate list data and remote data source to the list box. If you would like to see the working of this example, you can download it from the GitHub link which is shared in the description part below. You can also grab your chance of getting a free license key to use a complete Blazor products if you fit into a community guidelines. So check the link given in the description part to know if you are eligible for using a community license. Also, if you find this video as useful, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching this video.